Hi everyone, welcome back to FA channel. We're here to celebrate our technology and creativity. Speaking of creativity, the other day I was thinking, why don't I make a holiday card with augmented reality for my friends? It can, you can animate it, a card you find online, or you can produce some digital cards, or you can make your own animated holiday cards. It will be a very special gift, and I think now is the best time to show your creativity in the digital world. In, in this video, we will use an existing card and give you simple steps to show you how to make a fun Christmas card to send to your friends and family. To be able to make this card, all you need is the Photoshop software and Adobe Aero software. So if you find a card online, you need to find a PSD file. If you find an Illustrator file, that's also fine. You just need to open the Illustrator file and export it to PSD file. Then once you open the PSD file, then you will see all the layers of the elements. Before you start making the cards, make sure you kind of plan how you want to animate it, this card. So as you can see on the screen, for this Christmas card we find online, each element have its own layer. So think about how you want to group them. For example, you want all the snowflake to animate at the same time. And, or maybe you wanted the reindeer and the Santa Claus to animate at the same time. Make sure you know and plan it well before you start. And then for each layer, make sure it's all on the top level. Once you put them on the top level, merge the elements that you want to animate it together. I think it also works if sometimes with your Photoshop file, you can just directly export to Adobe Arrow, but by some reason, this one doesn't work. So we will show you how to make it step by step um, manually. Once you merge, make sure you name them so you can easily see it later too. It may take some time, but if your card or the PSD file you have doesn't have that much element, it will be easier to make. Even with this one, it's not that hard. Just the reason why we're merging them is because we don't want the Adobe Arrow to be have too heavy files. Once you merge them, it will be easier to use. Okay, so when that's all done, it's time to export it. When you export, you just need to click export layers to files. And then the file type, make sure it's PSD. I assume the less the layers are, the easier and lighter to animate on Adobe Arrow. So now you have all the PSD layers that you, need, you just need to import into Adobe Arrow. You can use Adobe Arrow desktop version or, or iPad. I think desktop is easier, especially if you have some heavy layers or heavy animations. So now you open the Adobe Arrow desktop version. That that's what we're using right now. You drop all the PSD file into Adobe Arrow. You will see all the layers start to show up. And now you need to, uh, you know, for the card, you have different layers, right? When people see the animated card, they want, you want them to have more depth, like to have this 3D kind of feeling. So make sure you remember to separate layers, make it more depth. So that's what we're doing right now. Now is the fun part. You can be creative and you can do whatever you want with all these little elements and layers. Maybe you want a star pop up, you want to spin little, elements you want the Santa to jump around anything you like to do for every single action is to press trigger action and then you have a list of animated action you can do for example <laughs> we're having fun with this reindeer we want the reindeer to bounce and then you just press trigger action bounce and you have to make sure you're not <laughs> letting it bounce too high or too low. Anyway, it actually doesn't matter, whatever you like. The height at the beginning we put like five centimeters, it seems like jumping too high. 
uh, and then the duration you can change the time duration you can really you can just play around and see what make you feel is the most interesting and so it depends on how you want it to be and another thing i really like is the snow flake falling so if you want something falling from above you just need to change the original position trigger move offside offside is the y so if you put a uh, y offside and then uh, you can move this snowflake to the position you want it to fall into and then the action will become snow falling it's very fun other elements too there are so many of them you can just play around we also changed uh, the stars make the size small and big it looks like it's it's blinking and then there's also the merry christmas font we group the merry christmas font with the hat so we want them to move together we try to make the font go forward and getting bigger but we also wanted the animation to start first and then the font change so for this one we put delay and duration maybe one second or five second it doesn't matter whatever you feel like you want your audience your your friend to see you can change and then move it to the z direction so you will just like pop up you will see what's the distance and play around so basically that's it once you have the ideal animation you want it to be oh another thing you can also add a christmas music because on dolby arrow you can add whatever music you like we don't we have the music christmas music Make sure it's not too heavy and not too long just for the duration of the animation all you need to do is uh, press start play audio and import the music yeah you can add any music you like so once you finish everything you just need to create link and then you'll see a qr code pop up what we did with this is we want to make it also analog of course you can send your qr code to your friends on any kind of messenger online mm, email uh, we also want to make more analog so we print out the card and put on a box that we give for friend, give friends the little box of gifts so once you have the gift to your friends they can also use their phone to see the animated fun Christmas card pop up and that's basically it. It's pretty simple to make animated cards, especially if you don't have a lot of layers. And uh, if you, even if you just want to send a cute message or a video file, <laughs> you can even use for business reason. If you have your customers or client, you want to send them a thank you card. That can also be a fun thing to do. And hope this video is helpful for you guys. And thanks for watching please subscribe our channel for more videos have a great holiday and i'll see you next time